Science, Technology and Innovation for Sustainable Development, a Caribbean Regional Policy Framework for Action, securing our tomorrow today. The future of the Caribbean now depends critically on every country building and strengthening its infrastructure to facilitate innovation, particularly in science and technology. The competitive advantages of the region's traditional industries and sectors are under increasing threat from globalization and from the scientific knowledge and technological innovations that are driving the development process worldwide. As a result, the creation of wealth and employment now rests on the ability of our people to respond creatively to global trends and to apply new technology to new enterprises and to existing areas of economic activity which have the potential for continued growth. The people of the Caribbean must be encouraged and enabled to capitalize on opportunities that will generate unique products and services for which there is or will be a global demand. The development of our institutional and human resource capacity in science, technology and innovation is also vitally important for preparing our populations to deal with pressing global issues related to climate change and the environment, water resource management, food security and alternative energy resources. This diversification of our economies along with the development of a highly skilled and productive workforce that is more oriented towards entrepreneurship is the most challenging task facing our leaders today. It requires unswerving commitment to the capacity building process. This includes, among many things, increasing investment in priority sectors, reforming education and training, integrating policies and mechanisms, and increasing cooperation and collaboration through the full engagement of stakeholders. It calls for the creation of a new Caribbean culture in which the advancement of knowledge is understood and valued as the central component of modern development. However, without firm policies to guide decision-making and consolidate efforts at the national and regional levels, the Caribbean will never sufficiently leverage science and technology for our survival in the new economic order. Already, the lag in policy development and implementation has greatly set back capacity building in the region and the optimal use of resources and has stunted the timely development of a knowledge-based regional economy. Two decades ago, CARICOM had adopted a regional science and technology policy that was never integrated into the development plan of its member nations, as had been the intention. In 1997, the Caribbean Council for Science and Technology CCST, took responsibility for formulating a new regional science and technology policy framework. With the support of CARICOM and the Technical Centre for Agriculture and Rural Cooperation of the ACPEU, the original document drafted by the CCST was revised with considerable input from regional experts and senior officials and incorporating the recommendations of public consultations held in 10 countries. The completed document is now urgently awaiting ratification by CARICOM heads of government. The policy proposes the following 12 priority areas Agriculture and the food sector Biotechnology and biosafety Environmental management Coastal and marine resources management Waste management Integrated water resources management Alternative energy and energy management disaster preparedness, health, sustainable tourism, development of small, medium and micro enterprises, information and communication technology. Some of these sectors have already been identified by major regional and international agencies as the best bets for Caribbean development. CARICOM, for example, in its vision for a single regional economy, considers energy, agriculture and sustainable tourism as the top clusters or engines for growth. The plan for the CSME also stressed the strategic role of innovation as the economic driver in its own right, since it is a cross-cutting factor that impacts the entire range of economic activities. 
Significant progress is already underway in many of the policy's priority areas through programs and projects initiated by governments and international donor agencies. So, CCST's proposed policy framework is very much aligned with the thinking of regional leaders and is in keeping with global trends and concerns. But preparing for the future and being able to adapt or change courses of action must be ongoing in an age where socio-economic change through technology and innovation is so rapid and constant. The policy framework, therefore, recommends the need for immediate and continual foresighting and technology road mapping exercises to focus and sharpen long-term development planning. CCSD itself has initiated a regional foresighting project that is facilitating sector studies to identify the best niche areas for investment in the future. As the regional effort towards economic integration intensifies, Caribbean heads of state must now exert the collective will needed to accelerate capacity building in science, technology and innovation. This is where the power to transform the region and to improve and sustain the livelihoods of our people is now vested. If the Caribbean economy and its key sectors are to remain competitive in the global arena, science, technology and innovation must be effectively harnessed. It starts with policy and it ends with action.